Welcome to your Loomis channel again. Today I'm trying something um, to solve a problem that I've always had with uh, many of the throwers and that is the fact that uh, many of these lights have uh, a very flat a very flat base reflector and so the reflector base can hit against the wire terminals um, when you do mods and you want to use thicker wires and I've played around here and there doing different things but I think I finally came up with an idea that seems to work and so I thought I'd just share it with you I've already got the LED on I've already done this one side but I'm gonna go ahead and show the other side uh, uh, I'm just putting a little little bit of flux on the the uh, terminal the contact and then I'm gonna try to put just a drop of solder on there I don't want a lot I want just a tiny bit of solder on this um, so I'll Heat it up and see if I can't put just a little bit of solder on it. Okay, I'm not using a whole lot, but I will try to cover the pad. All right. Um, I also have some a, a little piece of copper. This is like zero ten or zero twelve copper. And I'll uh, be uh, soldering that right to the this piece. Okay. I soldered. A I put a little drop of solder on the the uh, copper the copper strip, and I have a uh, 18 gauge wire. See, I, li I like using 18 gauge on uh, these mods when you get into higher amps. But 18 gauge just doesn't fit right onto the star without mashing it down and squeezing it down. You can't get the reflector the right distance and so forth and so on. So uh, what I've done is just cut the wire off flush. And you can see there's just a tiny bit of wire sticking out. I've just taken and, and, and sort of pulled back on the insulation a little bit, you know, and worked it down to where there's just a little bit showing. And I'm going to put solder on the end of that. So I've got flux on the wire now. And then I'll just run a little solder onto that wire. Maybe a little more flux or a little solder. Maybe a little more solder on that wire. If I can, get a little bead on there. All right. Okay, so I positioned the copper strip where I want it. Okay, and I'll hold it down. I put a little bit of flux on the top of the copper strip, and I'm going to hold the iron down and see if I can't heat up. Maybe not. Maybe a little solder will work on that better. Hang on. All right, so maybe a little solder on the iron because I've, I've got to have contact and it's not making good contact. So and then it'll tell me when it gets hot enough because the solder will flow on top. Yeah, that ought to do it. I can clean that off later. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to let that cool now. Okay, so now I've got the the uh, thing set in a different side so that I can hold the copper strip and put the wire up underneath. Okay, and I'm pressing the wire up against the copper and see if I can't heat this enough to melt the solder okay so now I have a wire on there take a look real quick yeah. so I have my wire soldered on 
both wires and they can go straight through the uh, heat sink and uh, I have a flush just almost flush as close as I can get uh, a set of contacts so that I can put my reflector on and not have to worry about shorting anything out while still being able to use 18 gauge wire anyways that's a little uh, trick that I've come up with and it seems to work out fairly well so I just wanted to share it with you thanks for watching